Welcome to another data proof review and I'm excited to bring to you the Olight S2R Baton 2. It is a compact rechargeable EDC flashlight and boy does this fit the bill if you are looking for a compact everyday carry. Uh, I love it. I've had it for a few weeks. Uh, in fact, I liked it so much I gifted one to a very, very close friend of mine. That's how much I liked it. Uh, it retails for around $70, and uh, if you can get it on sale, I highly recommend uh, picking one up. And, you know, Olight does tend to have promotions throughout the year, especially during the holidays. Um, you can also find them on various other retailers. But before going into the review, let's take this time to get an up-close and personal look at the light itself. All right, so right off the bat, um, this is the box that the Olight comes in. Uh, here we have it. And in addition to the box, uh, there are a number of things that, that come inside of the light. Including a nifty pouch, a black clip in case you wanted to change out the pocket clip, a strap so that you can attach it to your wrist and feed it through the loop here and you can have the Olight with you at all times if you're doing something adventurous or outdoors and you don't want to lose this light. Excellent, excellent uh, customization and, and accessories to go with it. In addition, it comes with a charging cord and you just plug this into you know your cell phone charger or outlet USB outlet and uh, this is the charger and you're thinking how does it charge uh, it's amazing I mean it is magnetic and it just clips on and you can have it charged like that um, it really is so comfortable and unique uh, to be able to charge the flashlight like this you don't have to pull out anything um, you don't have to change anything it really is convenient in terms of the battery itself, uh, Olight provides one, uh, and uh, it is a Olight uh, 3.6 volt uh, battery, as you can see here. Uh, it really is a great flashlight, and the fact that Olight provides you the battery um, is even better. So I've got it screwed in. Oh, great. And let's go ahead and, and talk about some of the features. Uh, one of the first things about this flashlight that makes it unique uh, is not only the magnetic tail cap, right, where it can charge uh, through that device or accessory that we saw, but it's got a great battery indicator. And you can see here, I've turned the battery on and it, there's a green light. And, and the green, of course, indicates a healthy battery. So if we look here, there is a three color power level indicator. And when it's green, it means that the battery life is over 70% charge. Um, when it is orange, it is in the 15 to 70% range. And when it is red, uh, that it means it is below 15% and it needs to be charged. Uh, very convenient to be able to have that information at all times because uh, with the traditional batteries and flashlights that uh, most people have, the only time you really know that it is running at full or near full capacity is when you pop in a new battery. And then you have it in your flashlight and you come to pick it up three months later or six months later, uh, you may not know what the health of the battery is. Uh, but this indicator is very nifty and it's built in and uh, it gives you that information right off the bat. So kudos to Olight for incorporating that feature into this uh, flashlight. 
and it does make it uh, uh, stand out uh, amongst others because of that feature uh, in itself. Um, you also saw right away the magnetized tail cap and how great it is and convenient it is to charge the, the flashlight, right? You just clip it on, you can stand it up, uh, you can have it on your desk, you can have it anywhere and just charge it. And, you know, we all see and have the USB chargers and different devices that we can connect to. So that's not a problem. Um, but, but because it's magnetized, this is the closest thing that I have is metal. Uh, it's very nifty because when you're working, um, you can have it clipped onto different metal objects, uh, for example, the hood of the car, and it will attach. It's a very strong magnet, and you can have it pretty much covering the viewing angle that you need. Uh, I think it's very sturdy. It's very useful, and the magnet feature uh, tail cap uh, definitely does help. So in addition to the battery indicator, the magnetized tail cap, um, it has a very useful um, pocket clip. And the pocket clip is bi-directional. Um, you can have it sitting in your pocket and it would clip up and it's a deep uh, pocket carry clip so that only the tip of the flashlight is showing from your pocket. But you can also attach it to a ball cap. And when you attach it to a ball cap, um, it allows you to see uh, and have it uh, move wherever you're viewing by having it touched to your cap. Uh, it is a little bit heavier uh, in terms of compared to a, a stylus uh, flashlight or a smaller pocket light, um, but it is still something that you can attach to a ball cap. So in terms of the max throw, the max throw for this flashlight, uh, manufacturer states is approximately 150 yards, you know, maybe a little bit less than that, or maybe 140 45 or so, uh, which is quite the distance. Um, in terms of the length of this flashlight, it is 3.9 inches long. The weight of it is 3.4 ounces. So, you know, most pocket knives, uh, you know, most EDC pocket knives are around four ounces or maybe even less, You could, depending on what brand or make you get, you know, two to four ounces um, around there. So, and so if you have a flashlight that weighs in less than four ounces, that's pretty good. Um, light levels, so we'll go into that. There are a number of different light, light levels. Uh, the other thing that I wanna focus on before the light is the uh, IPX8 rating, which means it is submersible into water uh, at least you know around three to five feet or so. Now I've never done it. Um, I don't intend on putting it in water but it's good to know that the quality and workmanship uh, went into this to prevent it um, from getting any type of water damage. So, you know, this uh, light has a number of uh, features. Um, how you turn it on and off is through this switch right here. And again, the indicator tells you it's green and you can cycle through it by holding it down. And when you hold it down, You can see how it cycled through different three different settings. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about each of the settings, right? Um, the one that we talked about right there, that is at 15 lumens. And off a of full charge, the manufacturer claims that it has 100 hours runtime. Now, if I hold it down a little bit more, and then it goes to the next level, this bumps it up to 120 lumens, and the battery can run at 14 hours. If I hold it down a third time, it goes to 400 lumens, and this is very bright at 400 lumens, and the runtime for that can go for 230 minutes. But let's say that you are in a position where you need this battery to run as long as possible, or you don't even need the light to be that powerful. Well, this light has another feature, and how you access it is by holding down the power button. And you see that? You hold it down for a few seconds, and the light turns on, and it is a very soft uh, light setting. And this is 0.5 lumens. This is the moon uh, setting. And the runtime on this is 60 days at this output. Now it's not gonna illuminate a lot. It just acts as a very soft 
light source. But if push comes to shove and you want to spread the energy as, as long as you can and preserve the battery life, uh, this feature is available. Uh, so the, the last thing about it um, is that it has two built-in uh, unique features. Uh, one is the turbo mode and how you access the turbo mode is you hit it twice and right off the bat it goes very bright and the runtime is two minutes at 11, 1150 lumens, so 1150 lumens. I'm gonna turn it off and the reason being is the tip gets very hot, but not only that, my hand actually gets hot where it is hitting, uh, it gets very hot. And uh, the manufacturer says that this mode is called the turbo mode. It can run at 1150 lumens by hitting a button twice. Um, the thing about it is to prevent any malfunction or uh, temperature damage, heat damage, uh, it runs at that lumen uh, for two minutes. And then after the two minutes, it drops back down to the 400 lumens. And uh, it can run, again, for around 230 minutes or so at 400 lumens. The last feature that it has is the strobe light. And how you access the strobe light is you hit the power button three times. So I'm going to hit it three times. One, two, three. And you can see that the strobe light feature is there. Here we are outside. I wanted to show you uh, the old light. This is the lightest setting. As you can see, it doesn't throw very far in the lightest setting, but it's still pretty bright for close up. The next setting, which I will call level two, here's the level three, the next level higher. You can see the throw is quite far. If I didn't have the retaining wall in the back, I'm sure it would go much further. Here's the turbo mode, 1150 lumens. Very bright, very, very bright.